Welcome back to Concert Fitness Canada Coaching, guys. This is me again, Anna Chepikova, International Certified Classically Trained Concert Pianist, Artist of Solo Piano and Piano Instructor. Welcome back. Today, our topic is three most important, most vital, most crucial piano exercises we all need to know about and apply it daily in order to succeed in piano. So are we ready? If you are, let's go. very crucial, very important, and major piano exercises all of us need to know and apply daily and preferably practice daily. I do have three very brief short announcements to make. Number one, answering your multiple inquiries and questions in regards to how to get into my class. Uh, how to sign up for one-on-one piano coaching, piano lessons with me personally. Please do visit my website. The website is not the same as an email address, okay? So it's a website. It's Piano. There's a special link you can click on to send your inquiry for piano one-on-one coaching with Number me. Number two, okay. I still do offer my 15 minutes free online consultation prior to signing you up into my class. So guys, I would highly encourage you to take advantage of that offer and contact me via my website, anachipikoapiano.com to uh, get that 15 minutes free Zoom online consultation prior to signing up into my class to be my student. And final number three, my extreme deep thanks to specific folk who have donated and who have contributed into my channel. There are two names I would like to mention. I specifically asked those folks if it would be okay to mention their names. They all agreed. However, they expressed they wouldn't want me to name their last name, so that's okay. There are two names I would like to mention out loud and think publicly from the bottom of my heart for your support for donating toward my channel via my paypal the first name is patrick thank you patrick very very much for your contribution for donating and supporting the channel the second name is wendy you guys know who you are so i have to mention those two names of the folk who have generously contributed into supporting my channel via my PayPal. You see the link below where you can also contribute to the piano learning journey and uh, support the channel. We're all in this together and I appreciate it so, so very to subscribe, much. subscribe, like, and leave your questions and or comments because I'm sure there's going to be quite a few of those. So leave the comments below. Do subscribe, like, and share. Today's topic, I have been asked, Anna, please do a brief video on the most important, most main, most major, most, I'd say vital um, exercises we can all apply and learn how to do in order to achieve the best results at piano playing in our technique. We right? all know that exercises are created for us to gain strength, right? If you go to a gym, do you? <laughs> Something we can all use, right? Go to a gym. What do we do? We specifically focus on possibly specific part of your body you want to train to become stronger or to lose a few of those pounds, right? 
Same thing applies to piano, three. guys. Most important, vital exercises that we all have to know if we want to succeed in piano and achieve good technical results. It's number one, scales. I'm making a big long pause here because I hear from the folk when you mention the word scales, they go like, oh, that's right. That's a good reaction. I will teach you in this today's lecture how to make scales fun and how to apply those scales into everyday practicing. Number two, arpeggios. Guys, please leave in your comments if you do not know what arpeggios mean or if you do know what arpeggios mean. And please do share with all of us piano music lovers about your own experience. Guys, it makes a tremendous difference when we all share with one another the experience in piano playing or piano studies or piano learning uh, we're all going through, right? So number two was arpeggios, right? And finally, number three is practicing the chords. Boy, I can count numerous times when I mention the word scales <laughs> to my students uh, they make the face that um, looks about like this. That's right. Or, that's right. That's a great reaction. Why? Because when we hear the word scales, or you have to practice scales, right? Practicing scales every day will help you. We just don't want to practice anymore. we almost about to quit. Big mistake. Here, today, I'm going to show you how to make those scales a lot of fun and how to make the practicing of the scales most productive. That will lead to terrific results. I have a feeling that a lot of us have heard about scales, right? And I do hear a lot that folks are playing scales like that. They say, scale. stop I always ask what was that <laughs> that was just four notes how do you propose how do you imagine how do you envision to train your technique to become perfect or become flawless because that's what scales do they help your technique to become literally flawless by playing those five notes and then stop okay I do have a better version for you I will teach you today how to play scales the proper way and the way that will bring you most results in developing your highest level of technique that I know all of you are very much deserving to achieve. So question for you guys, when you hear the word scales, you may be a beginner piano player, you may be an advanced piano player, and if your instructor hopefully good one and professional and qualified, tells you and encourages you to practice scales daily, do you ask that instructor, what do I need to practice those scales for? Do you? So I would say about 70 to 80% of the students that I've met who are maybe beginners, doesn't matter again what level, as you know, guys, I teach uh, students of all levels and ages. When I mention the word scales to them, here's what they present to me when I ask them to play a scale for me. Are you ready? This is what I hear. And then they stop. And uh, what happens next is kind of fun because I give them a long, probably, stare or a long uh, look with a question mark in my expression on my face because how in the world can you train your technique if you play your scale that consists of how many notes? What is it, eight, nine? <laughs> what can you train 
performing the scale that consists of so few notes or keys that you pressed. You do not train anything this way. I'm going to repeat this to you. You're not going to train nor develop any good technique by playing the scale that starts and then ends within what? About two seconds out of your life. We're all used to starting scales from probably the easiest one, what they call a C major scale, because it doesn't have any black keys in it, right? It doesn't have any sharps or flats. So why don't I show you an example of that very famous, beloved C major scale, the way, the professional way. It should be practiced, memorized, and worked on daily. And now I'm asking you, to let me know in your comments how many octaves of that scale are you going to hear I'm going to play, okay? First time you heard this, it's like playing little Toys R Us game, right? No, we're here for a serious, great results, fast results, okay? That's what I'm here for for you guys. Watch this carefully. It's also that C major scale. And let me know in your comments what you're hearing. So do let me know what you just heard. What was different from this to what I just played for you? <laughs> I think it sounded a little bit longer, right? I'm sure you noticed it did not last for 12 seconds. It lasted a little bit longer. Therefore, this is the rule. Of scales, we have to play minimum four octaves of our scales. Not those five notes. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. What did you teach yourself doing this? <laughs> it's like going to a gym and spending, say, three and a half minutes working on your abs. <laughs> or doing the cardio, you spend three minutes and then you leave the gym. Are you kidding me? No way. The scales, number one, have to be longer. That way you get to stay focused longer. You get to develop your muscle memory better. You get to train your memory better. You get to train your fingering better. Therefore, the technique becomes better. So I'm going to show you again. C major scale, that simple one, per se, it's not as simple as it looks. Uh, when we don't have any sharps or flats, doesn't mean it's a simple scale, right? I'll show you different examples a little bit later. So let me show you the C major scale once again in a slow speed, at a slow pace. <laughs> spend on that scale a teeny bit longer than on this eh, what's that gonna do <laughs> you get me i see i hear you guys so leave in your comments what you're feeling right now the scales number one has to be played at least four octaves and here's another reason why four octaves have a meter to it. Four octaves of scales have a specific meter or a beat. We need to make scales your best friend like a brand new song. Make it a song. Turn it into a song. 
One more time, listening carefully. I'm going to do my accents exaggeratedly brought out on every four notes. helps you go ahead and make up lyrics to it if you want to learn it the right way you can do your own one two three four one two three four one two three four method or go ahead and make up lyrics to it say i don't know um i love piano i love piano i love piano receiving a meter now scale sounds like actually piece of music well i can just hear your questions right now guys how do i do both hands how do i put both hands together if the finger is not the same of course it's not the same because our fingers are mirror image look at that one two three four five so Practicing hands separately, of course, is a must. Do hands separately first. Focus on the right hand. In fact, I would suggest to name those fingers numbers out loud as you're playing it. This is the example how to do it. Watching carefully. We're still in D major scale, right? One, two, three, then take a pause. One, two, three, four. Take a pause. One, two, three. Take a pause. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And of course, five at the very end of that fourth octave. Do you see that meter that's going on here? Do you hear that logical uh, music that gets developed in your scale? So scales can never be boring. Scales are in fact are one of the most fun and exciting exercises that piano players and piano technique has to offer. I'm trying my best to make it fun for you guys. Check so. out left hand. Obviously we start with the pinky. It's now five. Follow me, guys. Better yet, pause the video and try it on your own, on your own keyboard at home. Left hand, five, four, three, two, one. Now three, two, one. But it's not enough to excel and develop your technical skills, right? We need to play it for octaves, as I mentioned, to get that... Uh, scale sound like a song like actual composition right so one more time repeat if you need to pause the video do so right now okay here's left hand five four three two one we can make a stop on purpose to think of the next fingering three two one we just had three what comes next obviously four four three two one then three again. Three, two, one. After three comes what? Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. I'll give you a second to absorb this, guys. Better yet, do pause the video or do rewind it and hear this again. So, your fingers are taking turns. When there's that moment when we need to do the crossover, we need to take a little second, and that's okay, to pause at that moment, to think, okay, if I just had four finger before, it has to be three, because they alternate, right? They take turns. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. And so on. 
Isn't that fun? <laughs> well, that's about as much time as I hear right now, you guys, because I have a consultation and a piano session coming up in a few minutes on Zoom. So I'm going to leave it at this for right now. Part two coming up about arpeggios and part three about the chords. Okay, so do stay tuned for those upcoming videos on those three major, most important piano techniques all of us have to know and make them your best friend, if you will, okay? Thank you once again, guys, for your support. Thank you. Your remarks, your comments are tremendous. When you share your experience with one another, means a lot. So do check the description below this video. You will find all the links you need to know to contact me for one-on-one -on -one piano coaching, www.annachipikopiano.com. Thank you again so much for watching. Spread the word of music, you guys. We need this more than ever today. Wouldn't you agree? Thanks so much for watching. Arpeggios and chords coming up later, so I gotta run to my consultation right now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and make it a musical one.